1,100 friends on Facebook, but only one that matters. <laughs> only one that cares. <laughs> Would you like to be? Because in like a year, when I host here again, you might have to wear a trucker hat and a black t-shirt. <laughs> I will send you that message after I bring up your next comedian. It was funny that you did the Touch by an Angel bit. And I promised myself I would be a better person and not introduce this guy this way. But then I remembered that I'm not a good person. And so I'm totally introducing the guy. Uh, you were like, uh, in the Spanish community. And the next comic's name is Angel. Blessed. So it's both. It's like the Latino community and God. Are you guys ready to be touched by him? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Angel Blessed! Yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass. Not in a nice way, you get touched, bro. How are you guys doing tonight? As you heard, I'm Angel Blessed. How many of you have a shitty neighbor? You know, the kind of neighbor who just plays like loud music at the wrong time. You know, the kind of neighbor who pisses on your roses and your dog. You can't prove it, but you can smell it. You know? You know, when I try to confront my father-in-law, he denied it. Nah, he passed away, he passed away, but I'll trade him for my mother-in-law any day. Oh, nah. <laughs> so, going out, but truly, God wants us to love thy neighbor. But that's only possible if you have a cool, laid-back neighbor. The kind of neighbor that when you walk out your house, there's a double rainbow over his, always. You know, he has the kind of kids that use words like, Excuse me. Thank you. You welcome, sir, ma'am. You know, but when you have the retard family with the deaf kids, they're not deaf. They just don't listen. They too busy trying to kill your dog. <laughs> you know. And when you try to talk to their parents, they only talk cujo, and they fool me from the mouth. Is it possible to get a word to them? You know, is it possible? Ah, got dry mouth. I hate that. It's the second time that happens to me. Woo! So, this is the family, right? This is the family that you wish they went on, on a Mexican cruise and got kidnapped. <laughs> and had no ransom money. <laughs> you know? But with your love, they'll call you for it. <laughs> it's horrible, you know? But truly, you know, all jokes aside, I'm a born again Christian. You know, I'm going to be falling for I did 12 years in a maximum security prison. I mean, I was there with rapists, molesters, murderers, of course. You know, and I didn't find God there. I found God before I went to prison. You know, and I stuck with it. I did eight years now. I've been out. Thank God. You know, I haven't done no stick-ups, no pistol whipping. But the transition has been very, it was hard the first time. You know, you're going to church, remember? 12 years, no contact with women. So I'm in the service, you know, there, you know, getting my praise on, got my eyes closed, and I'm like, thank you, Lord, for all these good things that you have given me. Thank you, Lord. And when I opened my eyes, one of the sisters had one of the tightest pants on. She had one of these, like, padonka donks. So <laughs> I felt kind of bad. I'm like, Amen. <laughs> but, you know, the transition was not easy. The transition is not easy. Because in the service, you know, the pastor, I don't know if you've ever been to church, but when the, when the house is on fire, it's on fire. You know, the <laughs> preacher's bringing the, he has a message, the pastor, he's on fire, the church is in an uproar. In the back row, you hear, hallelujah, pastor, across the room. You hear, preach it like it is. And then you hear, blessed be the Lord. Preach it like 
with the fucking little pastor preaching like they're talking is. And everybody just forgot they were pre- preaching, you know, praising the Lord. They were just like, but everybody was nice about it. My name is Angel Blessed. God bless. Have a good night.